Hey friends, this is Mario with Simply Well, and today I wanted to show you how to make a cabbage compress to get rid of a headache. So this is really awesome because it's an old folk medicine remedy, and it's a way to get rid of a headache that doesn't require triptans or even the niacin flush, which is another way to abort a migraine. But um, there are some issues with the niacin flushing in that if you just relied on niacin um, and weren't balancing it with the other B vitamins, you could cause a folate deficiency. So um, the really cool thing about the cabbage compress, even though it's a little ridiculous feeling to have a cabbage um, cabbage leaves wrapped around your head here, which I'm going to show you how to do, is um, that it works and that it doesn't require a pill. So um, I have a fair amount of experience with this. Uh, I've actually used this even for other headaches, not only migraines. I did get a pretty bad headache a few weeks ago. I was traveling um, here to south southern New Mexico where my parents live, where I'm staying. Check out their beautiful Hopi whirling log roof here. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and I got a virus over Thanksgiving and my lymph nodes were swollen up really bad and I had a headache at the base of my skull, very different sensation from a migraine. Um, but uh, it was definitely a, a really intense viral headache and I used the cabbage compress and it worked beautifully. It got rid of it within half an hour. Um, and I have since had a few other clients trying this out. Way back in the day when I had migraines all the time before I had discovered the Simply Well protocol, I used cabbage um, hit, kind of hit or miss. I think I tried it maybe three or four times and about 50% of the time, about half the time, or two out of the four times that I tried it, it worked beautifully just like quite, you know, it's really effective when it's effective, and then two of those times it didn't work, and I'm not really sure the reason. Um, I did try grating the cabbage leaves at one point and kind of wrapping them in a cheesecloth and putting them on my forehead. I believe when I did that, it didn't work. I don't know if it was because of the grating or it could possibly be the season. It may affect the potency, and I'm really hoping that those of you who watch this video could maybe email me, maria at simplywell.info, um, and give me feedback on any success or um, lack of success that you have in any details that might clue us into um, what what those factors are that make it really effective sometimes and not as effective at other times. Um, but the few clients I've had who have tried this out, and it's fall right now, have had great success with it and, and no failures whatsoever. So I'm wondering if it might do have something to do with the fact that it's cabbage season right now and maybe the cabbages are more potent than say if you bought them in March or April when maybe they've been in storage for longer. Um, I don't really know, and these are the details that I'd like to uh, find out together with you if you can lend any insight and do some experimentation. But um, so far, the clients that I've had who have tried this have had really good success, so I just want to show you what they are doing and how to do it. And um, So this is a green cabbage. The red cabbage should work just as well, if not better. I've heard reports online that the red cabbages can work better, but so far... I think when I did it a long time ago, I used red cabbage once, but most of the time I've used green, and the green does work. And um, I've read online that the it's the outer, the outer leaves are more potent. But I have experimented with just using the entire cabbage, and I did notice that the leaves further towards the inside seem to have a more um, sulfuric um, kind of mustard gas kind of uh, um, compound coming out of them, especially when they're steamed. In other words, it's the leaves on the inside seem to be more potent, at least as far as that, whatever that substance is, is concerned. I don't know if it's the sulfuric quality of the uh, cabbage leaves that is what, what gets rid of the headache, so I don't, in that way, I don't really know if the inner leaves would work better or not, because I think that there is maybe a little bit of danger that you could kind of get a, a burning a little bit of sulfur burning on your forehead if you do the cabbage leaves too far into the center. Um, unless you're just putting them at the base of your skull and your skin is a little bit protected by your hair. So with this method what we're going to do is we're going to put cabbage leaves both on the forehead, wrapping all the way around, starting here. I think that this is important. So right here, right where your eyebrows end, this is where the sphenoid bone is. Um, and I think that's really important. Um, so, and I kind of do it a little bit over the top of my eyes since there's usually some inflammation and swelling in the eyes. Um, and then I also put it at the base of the skull, especially right here. Right here is where the cranial nerves go into the foramen magnum right there. So you don't want it like too high because I, I, I imagine that that bone 
you know, is pretty thick. So as far as whatever the magical substance is that's in these cabbages, as far as it actually penetrating through the skin um, and getting to the meninges, you know, I, I tend to focus on putting it more, I mean, it's a big cabbage leaf. So at the base there, just making sure that it touches that area there where those, um, uh, where the veins and the arteries and all the nerves go up into that spot. So we're going to be doing front and back. Um, and you know, it, it has worked before, uh, just doing it raw. So I've got about three leaves here, enough for the front and back. And they kind of curve, you know, to the shape of the head, which is pretty cool. I think that's better than grading it. Um, and then when I've done it raw in the past, I've just kind of crumpled them up like this. You know, crumpling them well. And again, since we don't really quite know how or why these magical um, cabbages work, um, I'm just guessing that um, whatever compound or substances that are in this cabbage, you know, there will be more of it released here just with some crumpling. Um, you know, you can experiment with different ways to do this, but when you smell it, you know, you can smell that cabbage smell. And, uh, you know, it is a little messy. It's certainly messier than taking a pill, but it's a lot more natural and it's... Um, you know, you won't be throwing anything off in your body. So then, um, so that's the way to, I just crumple them up when they're raw and that can work, but I've also experimented with putting them in a pan and I'm um, boiling some water right here. So um, just doing an extremely quick steaming of the leaves, usually before I crumple, before crumpling them, I just put the full leaves there in the pan and, uh, not cooking them for too long, just enough to kind of um, loosen the skin up a bit. And then I usually get a rolling pin or use um, from a mortar and pestle, just a wooden, something wooden to um, soften the leaves up. This is a little more labor intensive to steam it for a second, but my dad, I seem to have gotten um, my interest in folk medicine from my dad, and my dad uses these compresses for his arthritis and for neck pain and all kinds of other things. He doesn't get migraines, but um, you know, there's a lot of other applications for this. So when I had mastitis um, from breastfeeding, I also would use this cabbage compress. It works beautifully um, for a lot of different things. So now that I've very, very lightly. That was probably only a minute. I wouldn't do it much longer. You don't want the cabbage leaves to get really soft. You're just very, very gently steaming them so that then when you hit the cabbage leaves with your rolling pin, they'll just be helping to release this, whatever magical compound is in there. And I haven't really done that much research into what it could be in the cabbage leaves that gets rid of the headache. If it is the sulfur, then it could be that the sulfur is helping. Um, if there was a sulfur deficiency, perhaps I'm just guessing um, sulfur is needed for glutathione and maybe the brain isn't getting sufficient glutathione if the person is um, low in sulfur, perhaps. Um, so, so now that I've just steamed these, see they're a little bit more limp, but they're still really bright green. They're not like um, overcooked by any means. Um, what I'm going to do now is put my hair up and you know you could just there's a lot of different kinds of cloth or fabric that you could use to plaster these down but I found this is kind of the key because otherwise it's kind of sloppy and messy using one of these ace bandages and the key with the ace bandage is not to wrap it around your head too tight because you're going to be putting it around your head first but because the cabbage has to um, fit in there and because presumably you have a pretty bad headache you don't want to be like constricting your head. You want to do it really quite gently and loosely um, just enough to where it's going to help keep those cabbage leaves nicely in place and there's a little um, oops, I'm gonna flip it over that way a little velcro there and this is going to keep it nicely in place both front and back and you're just kind of stuffing them in there. You know, I realize not everyone is into this kind of stuff. I think it's awesome. Um, you know, I think it's great whenever we have a solution that's going to work. See, I'm putting it on my, um, right there on my temples. That's important. 
And we have a solution that doesn't require a pill. That's awesome. Cabbages are not by any means expensive. So I'm putting some kind of like on each side and then over the front. For right now, I'm just stuffing it on the top there while I work on the back, making sure I get the right spot on the back. Oops, I forgot to turn the stove off. Okay, so now, and I've got it on each side on the back, but also right here. And then I would lay down, and as I laid down, I would kind of pull this forward a bit, so it's slightly over the eyes. And then the key there, <laughs> I'm going to put it up so I can talk to you. The key is then to completely relax, you know, because I really do think that a lot of the stress... Um, well, a lot of having a migraine is sort of the stress of what you know is coming, you know? So um, at this point, you just want to trust in the magic of the cabbage and lay down and trust that it's, it's going to do its work. And it may take 20 to 30 minutes, but when it works, it's just amazing. Actually, the first time I ever did this years ago, this was probably like six or seven years ago, I tried it. I was a little skeptical. I laid down and I actually remember a point and being a craniosacral therapist, you know, I, I, I pay attention to these dynamics and the craniosacral fluid there. I remember a point where it was almost like it was a, a very sudden shift and there was a larger amount of this kind of sulfuric smell that comes out of the cabbage that, that kind of emanated at that time. I don't know what caused um, that to increase, but uh, there was a point where I remember where there was sort of like this tension pattern that I could feel deep down and then it just kind of like sped up and then it just went poof, poof, like that. It just very suddenly dissipated. So I'm just grateful to the cabbage, you know? I mean, we don't, we don't always have to understand why everything works in order to benefit from it. Um, I think there's a lot to be said for just, you know, having gratitude to the plants that are here to help us and, you know, spread the word to other people that you know who need help from this. If you are the type of person who likes wrapping your head in bandages and, um, avoiding pills, then this might be a good option for you. But again, it could take 20 to 30 minutes. So the best thing is to just lay down and just let it do its work. You know, don't time it or anything and don't be impatient about it. Just sort of relax and try to try to fall asleep. And you may find that you wake up in the morning with no migraine or, you know, you drift off to sleep without even really realizing the headache disappeared. Or maybe you will realize it and you will probably be hooked once you've, once you've, uh, discovered this solution. I've noticed that people, when I suggest it to them, they seem a little incredulous. Like if I suggest to them uh, the niacin flush or a pill, they usually prefer that over, you know, over wrapping their head in cabbage. But um, I think that once you've tried it and once it's worked, it's, um, it's really the best option out there. It's better than taking pills. So I hope that this has been informative um, and I hope it works for you. And uh, please let me know if it does or doesn't. Have a fabulous day.